it's not gonna matter. Because you're gonna torture me anyway? You don't work that way anymore. Now you just go to the darkest corner of the room. Great. How long were you unconscious? Sun had set when I came to. There was a broadcast. Were you out for six hours? Eight? It's important. Is that a train? Really? Try to focus on the question, please. Yeah, I was still shaky as hell when I pulled myself out, so I don't know. It was dark. You pulled yourself out? You were buried? I did see something. You just said it was dark and you were groggy. Are you trying to get a rise out of me? We're just along for the ride, Sergeant Blackburn. You're driving, for now, if you say so. So it was dark and you were groggy. You saw something after the quake. What was it? Ahead. I have a better idea. I let you choose. Choose? Choose what? Oh, come on. What is it? Live or die? Live or die, mister. Him here! Oh boy, bad things have happened. We return here, guys and girls, to Battlefield 3. And there's been a massive earthquake. We almost died in the rubble. Although, I don't know where we were buried. I guess under a couple of these pieces. Doesn't look like much of a... Maybe we were more over here. I don't know. Either way, it's nighttime. I've got this knifey knife. And we're gonna get a move on. Looks pretty, pretty dangerous and pretty bad. Things are collapsed everywhere. Buildings are crooked. And I'm not too, uh... Feeling too comfy here. Goodbye, PLR, or whatever the heck you are. I'm going to this palace over here. Maybe they can give me a nice warm bath and a hot chocolate, 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 chocolate. Or something, I don't know. Let's see. Oh, what's up, buddy? Why is this guy standing like a scarecrow? Oh, oh, holy cow. What the heck? This is like a freaking survival horror scene. More frozen people. What are they all doing? Making me nervous here. Trying to crawl through a pipe and save our soul. I like the interrogation scenes, like how they're kind of mixing them in. I kind of like games like that. Like Black Ops did that a little bit where they like throw you back and forth and you're trying to fi figure out this grand scheme, this grand plot. Although it is kind of eerie that it's so similar to Black Ops in the sense of using kind of... Uh oh. Hey. Ouch. Hey, get rats. Get them, leave my fingers alone. Oh, I don't want to stab him. Oh, oh, that's... Oh, God. Good night, rat. Anyway, it is kind of weird that it's so similar to Black Ops kind of whole M.O. Well, I am not going to let you see me, and therefore you won't know what's an act of anything. Into the building we go. <gasps> oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. This is not good. I'm going to knife this guy and take his weapon, I think. Give me his gun. Oh jeez, oh jeez. I've got a gun. That's good. That's a good sign. Yes, I like this gun. Oh jeez. Ah! Okay. Got to fight the extraction point. This is pretty awesome. I love. It. Oh, night missions are cool. There we go. Have a grenade, guys. Boom. Yes. Whoa, that guy bounced back like a freaking... I don't know what, but my god, some strength. Iron flames. Uh-oh. Stop shooting. Gotta get back to the extraction point. Here we go. Let's make a run for it. Move, 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 move. Ah! Jump, dude. Get up. 
There we go. You know, you can shoot down trees. Put enough bullets into the tree. It should break, or maybe not this one. It's a very sturdy tree. I have seen trees break, though. Come on. You gonna fall over, tree? Okay, I probably should not be wasting all my ammo on this, but hey. Alright, well, that's the strongest tree I've ever seen in my entire life, so hey. Anyway, I have had trees collapse on me in co-op, which is pretty cool, so that's what I was trying to accomplish there. Although it did not work the greatest. Uh, where are we headed? Oh, great. Oh my goodness, what is that? Some bombs are coming in. Dropping flares or something. Let's see if that grenade can clear out. I don't know if that was. I think it got somebody, maybe not. More dudes coming over here. Holy cow. Oh jeez, and this guy. Hey, friend! You're not. Oh my jeez. Prone, prone, prone. Save your soul, dude! Alright. Let's get a grenade over here. Angry cats. Oh my, you're getting awfully close, man. Not sure I approve of that at all. Chilling in the bathroom. Not anymore. Alright. Let's rock and roll. Uh oh. Oh, jeez. Uh, I'm locked in. Uh-oh. Nervous. They're coming in from right here. Two guys down. Down both, I think. Oh, jeez. I like all the sound effects. There's like a lot of extra, extra sound in the background. It's pretty cool. Car alarms and just things dropping and breaking. It's kind of kind of a kind of a cool feel. Retrace steps to the school. Whoa, that's a bomb. Okay. Jeez, oh beats. So many angry dudes. I'm like a freaking one-man terror squad, though, just taking out everyone. Holy cow. Ah! I kind of think, like, uh, they could do a really nice, a uh, really good, like, post-apocalyptic game like this. Like, instead of, like, oh, everything's already destroyed, and, like, oh, my jeez, those guys are crushed. Instead of everything's ruined already, like, Fallout, like, it's in the process of being destroyed. Like, it's almost like a, not an alien movie, but kind of in some ways it would kind of be slightly similar to that, where it would be like, oh, my God, alien invasion or some kind of apocalypse. But, like, at night especially, where everything is kind of breaking and, uh, like, really just getting torn apart, like, I think that would be really cool, really moody, really atmospheric. You could make a great game like that. Nothing like that's ever really been done. I mean, they do, like, after everything's gone to hell, like, how things are, or, like, you know, just before, but during, like, every just collapsing everything everywhere, like, people freaking out, and mass, mass chaos, and darkness, and scariness, and it could, doesn't have to be survival horror, Please like... motherfucker hands! <sighs> Holy shit! Blackbird! Am I glad to see you? What's up, buddy? In about half an hour, this place is gonna be every fucking man for himself. Come on, let's get the fuck out of here. Okay, it doesn't have to be like what I was saying, like scary, like ooh monsters, but it would be like really just intense and scary, like flashing lights and breaking, and you have to like hide from rubble and debris and like a mix of stealth and action and escape, and I think it could be Misfit, awesome. this is Misfit One Three. I think I'm almost back at the staging area. I don't know, this place looks real different without any freaking buildings. Do what you have to do, Osprey's a thing in five mics. I got the door. Come on. Alright, get us out of here. Let's go. Shh. Milnet was saying there's riots all over the fucking city. And get this. A coup in Iran. Sponsored Don't sound good. Friendly neighborhood PLO. Does not sound very promising or or good. Oh my jeez, it's a it's a nightmare zone. Oh, jeez. 
I'm gonna follow this guy because they're telling me to. We're at the extraction point. Good, good, good. Ow, ow. Humby turret, where is it? Uh, I gotta recover a little health here before I go. Okay. Come on. Half a board. Hold out for the Osprey, okay. Oh my. <laughs> no one survives with our our Humvee gun here. Everyone should just buy we should just buy more Humvees and have everyone just sit in these. So much for soldiers standing around, just put everyone in one of these and I, I understand the implications of why that would work, but I'm just saying this gun is pretty beast. Okay, I see it. It's coming. Sweet. I'm ready to go. Oh gosh. No. Freaking RPG messing up our day again. Where are they at? Oh, guys over here. I see. Blow your wall away. How are you going to hide now, you little pigs? Ah, oh. That was not good. Make it to the Osprey. Make it. Make it to the Osprey. 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 I'm going to make it to the Osprey. Boom. Boom. Safety, safety, safety. Touchdown win. We are the champs. I love Battlefield 3. It's a blast. Earthquakes are scary. And so are collapsing bridges. This song doesn't rhyme. That's okay, though, because it's a good one.